yes, I know, I know you want to go out. Many, many, many times one gets asked, what do you collect? I, like I'm sure many other collectors, when asked what kind of art do you collect, tend to roll my eyes and say, oh, just stuff. <laughs> Two years ago, a museum director came here for lunch one day, and he over lunch said that I collect narrative work that has a conceptual basis to it. When you look at Kavakov, that is, you know, a precise description of him. He describes himself as a conceptual artist. When I first approached his work, I saw paintings. Many artists have qualms about parting with works that they, they think are special. And any collector wants those special works. Let other people buy the works that are just turned out as a matter of course. Collectors want the special works. For me, art and many things like it have an absolute. Fashion comes and goes. But in the end, things of quality tend to have lasting ability. Kalvikov is a very, very important artist. Regardless of what people think of him today or 10 years from now, I know that 100 years from now, they still will be thinking of him. All right, come here. Stay. I own many of his important early works, and if they are absent from the world, i.e. here not being seen, that is um, a responsibility which I, I think about, and it bothers me. I'm not a very social collector, so I don't have a lot of people coming like one might expect. I, I think having great work that's important is sort of terrifying. Um, as I said earlier, you worry about you know, roof leaks, plumbing leaks, what have you. You worry about, start to worry about everything. Not just, not for most of the work, but for those works that, that the world be, would be less for long term if they were to be harmed. I think for the Kabakovs, I hope that all or most wind up in Russia, and hopefully where the Russian public can have ready access to them. They're very important to a time and place, not just from an artistic point of view, but from a cultural and social point of view. If the Kabakovs go away, and other pieces go away or simply get integrated into my, my life, it may seem less like a collection and more like individual works that I like. So I might not be an art collector anymore, for all I know. <laughs>